Welcome back, everyone. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the books that I intend to read this year. I've done another Goodreads challenge. Last year I tried to read 52 books. I didn't make it. I read around 34. This year I want to read 40. That's my goal. And I really would like to read more than that. And I'm actually reading five books right now that I've got to get through. I've finished two books this year already. Uh, two war memoirs. I am almost halfway through Stephen Erickson's Dead House Gates, book two in an epic fantasy series. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it. The Universe in Your Hand, which I'm about three quarters of the way through. Really good book on physics and the universe and everything like that. Stephen King's Skeleton Crew, reading it as part of a group. And we are about two-thirds of the way through that one. Harry Potter, number three. I have read one and two last year. I'm going to continue on with that. I'm also reading History of the World. Big, big 922-page book. The text is real small on the pages. This, I'm going to be like a scholar of world history when I finish that. Or of Western history, at least. Or a European, rather. The Girl Who Played with Fire. Read number one about a year ago. It was a good mystery. I had a couple issues with it, but good enough that I like the characters enough that I want to go on with this. That's book two in the Elizabeth Salander series. I want to read number two, Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings. Liked that one, too. I just got... Those are so long, it's hard for me to commit to the idea of reading them all sometimes. I have a problem with Dean Koontz. He always seems to disappoint me, but um, I'm going to try his Frankenstein because I've heard nothing but good. And one of the best books I've ever read, actually, by Dean Koontz, Fear Nothing. Unbelievable book. I might do a reread on this. Rarely do I ever do rereads. And I really want to do the reread so that I can read this one that I never finished years ago. It's number two in the Christopher Snow. Uh, what we hope will be a trilogy if Dean Koons would finish it. Great book. I've got to read this one too. I also want to read Dracula. I've got it here in part of a three book set. Uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Frankenstein, and Dracula. Uh, I've read the other two, but I've got to read Dracula. almost uh, read it the other day. I started about a page of it, and then I changed my mind to something else. Uh, Hyperion, uh, epic uh, kind of science fiction fantasy thing, book one, Hyperion. Epic of Gilgamesh. It's not very long. Uh, a Wrinkle in Time. I've always wanted to read that, never did it. I'm doing it this year. I've also wanted to do Lord of the Flies, ever since it was mentioned in a Stephen King uh, novella. Anne Rice's The Queen of the Damned, uh, vampire book number three. Number one, I really liked it. Number two, it was hard for me to finish. I was getting sick of it toward the end. But I'm not going to give up yet. I'm going to do number three. Jack Reacher, 61 Hours. I just kind of picked this one up at random. You can see a couple books are missing here from my shelf. I just want to try another Jack Reacher. I like the two or three at the most that I read, so I'm going to give that a try. A Tale of Two Cities, Charles Dickens. Not very long. I'm thinking about doing The Clan of the Cave Bear. You know, this is another. It's like all these epic fantasy series. I've just, there's too many of them. I need to just commit to one. Also, I want to read Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol. I thought about starting it the other day. I, one of my problem with these, even though The Da Vinci Code is the most suspenseful novel I've ever read, is that he's a formula writer, it seems, and those stories are so very similar. As much as I really enjoy reading them, they're so very similar. I don't know how many of them I can do. This isn't the one that I want to read, but I want to get the first one in this Jim Butcher series and read that because I've wanted to do that for a while also. In addition to those books, I probably read a couple more Stephen Kings. I usually read about three or four of those a year, so I will read some of those. And I also have some nonfiction that I want to read, some memoirs, um, some science books, um, some history books. I'm reading that um, History of the World book, and there's some other history stuff. I read World War II survivor memoirs. I read uh, two of those already this year, if I didn't already mention that. So that's what I'm reading this year, 2019. I want to read these books. I want to read uh, some nonfiction books, uh, some for dummies books that I want to get and read. And I'm sure that along the way, I'll come across many more books. At the end of the year, I'll have a whole big pile of books that I never got to. Uh, but I'm going to read as many of them as I can this year. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to me, everyone. If you've made it this far, please subscribe to me. That's really encouraging. And let me know in the comments what you'll be reading this year.